Yo! Today, we're gonna hook up a PlayStation 5 or a PlayStation 5 Pro to a capture card. This is for streaming on Twitch or recording videos for YouTube. Let's get into it. Before we begin, this is the most important step. On your PlayStation, go to Settings, System, HDMI, and make sure that HDCP is disabled. Next, we're gonna hit back twice and then we're gonna go down to screen and video. Once we're in here, we're gonna go to video output settings. First, we're gonna make sure our resolution is set to 1080p. Then we're gonna make sure that things like VRR and 120 hertz output are disabled. You also wanna turn off HDR and you wanna make sure that deep color output is also disabled. You can now exit out of your PlayStation settings and you're now ready to set up your PlayStation with a capture card. Next, we wanna make sure there are no peripherals connected to our PlayStation console. So disconnect any gaming headsets from your controller. Since you're connecting the console to a capture card, you don't need to have your headset plugged into your controller. You're gonna be using that headset with the streaming computer. First, we're gonna disconnect any cables connected to our console, and then we're gonna plug in power and a single HDMI cable into the HDMI output. This is our capture card that we're gonna be using in this video. The link is in the description if you wanna purchase the same capture card. Just look for any UVC capture card. This one here is a great and expensive option as it's only 30 or $40 on Amazon and it works on both Mac, PC, and Linux. We're gonna be connecting the other end of that HDMI cable that we plugged into our PlayStation into the HDMI input of the capture card. This should not be confusing as you should only currently have one single HDMI cable plugged into your PlayStation and the other end is plugged into nothing. Plug that end into the HDMI input of the capture card. Now we're gonna take a second HDMI cable that we've labeled with green tape here and plug that into the HDMI output of the capture card. This is a second HDMI cable that we're gonna be using for pass-through to our display or monitor or TV. Next, we're gonna take that green second HDMI cable and plug it into our TV or monitor where we normally had our PlayStation 5 directly connected to. You now have your HDMI cables properly connected to the capture card. All that's left is connecting the USB cable to your streaming computer. After plugging in your capture card's USB, you should automatically see your console's display on your TV or monitor. If you don't, rewind this video and make sure that your HDMI cables are connected properly. Or double check and absolutely make sure that you've disabled HDCP like in the first instruction. You are now ready to set up your capture card in OBS Studio. If you want to learn how to do that, check out my next video. 